Hello dear ones, it's, it's Alice. I am of the stars and here I am somewhere in the great American Southwest. There are some beautiful mountains in the background and a, a, a giant thunderstorm brewing. You should see the lightning and a flock of uh, ducks just went by or I'm not totally conversant. Maybe it was geese. And um, I just wanted to bring up one thing that I've noticed in the past that I'm only bringing it up because I finally found a solution. Par for the course, right? It has to do with co-creation of the new reality, but I'm right here to say that as our powers unfold and as the clearing is in the midst of taking place for everybody, there are people who are finding very creative ways of exercising their co-creation abilities that don't have a lot to do with love and light. Okay, so this is one such instance. All right, um, there, as you know, we're in the midst of the clearing of the masculine wound. Now, for the ladies, this has really no import because it's totally up to the men to do their own clearing. And that's a good thing because I wouldn't know where to start with it. And I recognize that, that, that they have quite a, quite a bit of, of discovery before them right now and so I'm 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 waiting for the light and I'm waiting to see what transpires with regard to that and in the meantime the men are in the midst of clearing now one of the things that I can guarantee you is going to be clearing is this thing that I'm about to talk about there's a situation right now of men I think I've mentioned it, it's called misogyny I think men hating women and thinking very little of women, thinking of women in terms of lust only, and not as mothers or as someone that they can protect or ought to protect. Um, thinking of thinking of having having intercourse with women as killing women even, and that's the extreme of it. the The idea that that they will use the creative act to actually kill. <sighs> And this is the shadow aspect of a shadow aspect of that is clearing right now from the masculine psyche. Um, so one of the new powers is the ability to rope, use astral cords, and and tie people together with with just through thought. Okay, that is when people aren't aware of it. So now you're about to find out about it if you don't know about it already, and you'll be able to d to deal with it. Um, the ideal situation, of course, is to be completely pranically and energetically protected with your electromagnetic field intact all the time through meditation and through visualization to do that. But sometimes I forget, I don't know about you, but I forget, or when I'm asleep or when I'm just waking up or very tired, um, then my, my energetic field, my electromagnetic field, is not as... Um, not as strong as it always is and at those times when I'm not paying too much attention um, then it's possible for other people to to visualize roping them their um, one of their chakras to one of my chakras or roping my chakra to another person's chakras and that and and it takes understanding that we can change the situation for us to change it. Otherwise, it will continue on for hours. So, so the misogynist ploy that's been happening is a man who is has as his shadow hatred of women, misogyny, uh, wants to rape women. You know, psychic rape on the astral plane. This is not something they do probably in, in real life, just it's a, an imagination thing, carrying out of that in the imagination, either consciously or subconsciously, or in daydreaming in the dream world. So, so this person dreams of roping their sexual chakra to a woman, and then they don't want to be bothered themselves with what they want is the aggressive drive the raping feeling of the lustful raping feeling to persist over and over again all day long through this this uh, psychic roping that they do 
but they don't want to be bothered back, right? They just want to do it. They don't want to be reciprocal about it. So then the second step is they visualize this woman that they're roped to, her chakra, her sexual chakra being roped to another woman, okay? So that this other woman and she all day long share a sexual drive. So today I found out what to do about it. Don't feel bad if this happens to you. It's just really an acting out of, of this shadow that's coming to light for men and clearing. Okay, so don't feel bad about it. But here's the thing. Here's the thing to do. Imagine when you notice that this connection is occurring, the connection that you don't want. Imagine and visualize very vividly this man, wherever he is, being roped to some physical object in his environment. Like you could imagine, if you know he lives near a tree, imagine that, that uh, sexual chakra rope looping around and around the tree and just getting tied up there, okay? I rope you to this tree. I tried roping them to other people, but the other people all objected, you know? So I figured this is kind of an inanimate way. I mean, the tree may be objecting, that's true. So in that case, if you feel that the tree is objecting or if there is no tree, you could rope them to the, door, the nearest doorknob in their home. How would that be? Or let's see, hitching post, what could you use? Rope them to the steering wheel of their car if they're in the car. You just think of some, something local to them and rope them to that every time. Visualize very vividly. This is part of learning our co-creative abilities. And it, I think it is the least, uh, the most uh, loving and the least harmful way that we can deal with this, this intermediate situation right now. So there you have it. I'm wishing you a wonderful day. I hope you get a chance to walk in the lightning storms, hear the thunder, and emerge completely clear and, and perfectly safe. <laughs> oh, as usual, a postscript. Sometimes a man who feels hatred for w women on the shadow side, such as the situation I just described, he will pretend on the astral plane to be a woman. If he gets too much a commotion from women about raping them, he'll pretend to be a woman instead and, ro and, and rope himself uh, in this manner to a, to a woman. And um, let's see. And, and another thing he'll do is if there's a woman who's not so complicated, this is like Peyton Place, isn't it? If there's a woman who refuses to do this with him and who knows the tricks, he'll pretend that he's her when he ropes himself to this other person who is unwilling. Uh, so this scenario is unfolding in the world as we speak and no doubt soon to be resolved. <laughs>